Kitchen. We are still here with you talking about some really cool stuff. And I am really excited about this one because I got to play with it in a preview. Amazon Translate, yay. Now I can know what all of you guys are saying. Every last one of you, no matter where you are. I am joined here today with Yanni and two customers that I'm not gonna introduce, surprise. I'm not gonna tell you who they are yet. Uh, and we're here to talk about Amazon Translate. So let's first start out. Obviously we kind of know what it is up here, but go ahead and tell the audience out there what Translate is and how cool it is. Yeah, so uh, thank you, Tara. Um, Amazon Translate is our fully managed, continuously trained neural machine translation engine. Um, it's basically an API where with a few lines of code, you can, you, you can turn applications into fully multilingual. We currently support 12 language pair, so uh, Amazon Translate can, can translate from English to Arabic, simplified Chinese, German, French, uh, Spanish and Portuguese, and vice versa. And we're, we are actually announcing that we're going to be doing 12 more language pairs over the next no few months. More. I told you, it's, it's a wrap. I know what all of you guys are saying now, out there on Twitch and Twitter. Yeah, watch out. I have Translate. I have Spirit Power. <laughs> I got it now. So, Yanni, we saw Translate get launched in, pre it, in pre preview. Yeah. Fantastic. Very excited about it. You're GA today. Tell us about what we can we expect from people who have started with Preview, people who have never started. Tell us what the differences are. You kind of talked about some of the languages, but give us the goodness of it coming to be now GA. Yeah, so um, there's, a, there's this famous uh, saying in Hebrew uh, where we basically say, um, you start as fast as you can, you start running as fast as you can, and then you slowly pick up the pace. Yeah. So that's something that we're doing here, a, a philosophy that we've adopted too. Um, so we started at reInvent at really high quality, but, but I'm excited to share that we've significantly improved the quality of the engines that we're making generally available today. We've seen uh, double digit improvements across the board for all the language pairs wow. from the ones that customers have been using at Preview so far. We're also, we're also adding uh, several new features. So as I mentioned, we're going to be adding languages, uh, 12 more pairs over the, the next few months. Um, we're you know, hard at work at that. Um, we're, we're also uh, adding today native language support. So nice. let's say you pass a request, a transition request from your application where you don't know what language it is that your customers are typing in. Now like, like Amazon they do Translate. Like on a consistent basis? Like, kind, sort yeah, of, okay. yeah. Um, and so you can basically pass the translation request with the language ID being auto. Amazon Translate will call Amazon Comprehend yep. on behalf of your application to get the language ID and then run the translation automatically. We're also adding CloudWatch support so customers can now fully monitor their applications and their use of Amazon Translate in their Amazon Translate console. We've also significantly increased the, the limits per one call and the transaction per second the customer can do. So now you can translate in real time really large volumes of text. Nice, okay, so I'm not from Missouri, I'm from the South, but <coughs> I always believe in showing me, so you have something cool to show me? I do. All right, let's um, see it, let's see what you got to I, show I me. I think it's a really good example of uh, of what Amazon Transit can do. So um, this here is the Wenger Swiss officer's giant knife, um, which has 87 Dangerous. tools uh, <laughs> and offers 141 functions. And this is on Amazon Germany, of course. Um, so it's a pretty serious tool here. Um, and, and it also turns out that one of these tools is a toothpick. And on the screen here, you see that <laughs> a what, what okay. a customer, how a customer had described their experience with it in German. Okay. Now here's how one well-known open source engine that still uses the, the, la the previous versions of statistical engines that are not neural translation engines uh, would have translated this. This is not an Amazon engine. This is an open source engine that some customers still use. Okay. So let me read this out loud just to really leave an impression of, of this okay. translation here. Really a very good pocket knife. Had yesterday after breakfast something poppy hang between the teeth. That's about right. Because I once again found no toothpicks, I ordered mine without further ado this pocket knife. The integrated toothpick NUR3 is very stable and very quickly I could clean my teeth. Super. <laughs> to the rest I can tell nothing unfortunately <laughs> because I him not be emergency. Oh. So, you know, a reader can kind of get the gist of this review, right? Totally but intelligible. We, we all know what that means, right? Yeah. Now. <laughs> but, but overall, it's really not that great. Let's no, be honest. Not really, yeah. So now let's take a look at what our current engine can do. Okay. Um, 
really a very good pocket knife. Had a little poppy between the teeth yesterday after breakfast. Since I didn't find a toothpick again, I ordered this pocket knife shortly. The integrated toothpick number three is very stable and I could clean my teeth very quickly. Great. I can't say anything about the rest because I don't need it. Now, as you can see, we still have some work to do here, but this is getting us much no, closer. No, it's much better than it was before. Um, I want to be mindful of time, and we have these <coughs> great gentlemen standing up here very patiently waiting for us to tell the world who they are. Yeah. So let me do that without further ado. So I'm really excited to introduce you customers that have actually used this and put it and made it real. You guys are used to us talking about what we've done with it. And I know sometimes you don't believe us. Let's, let's be truthful. You don't believe that we are actually doing things that people are putting in production. So I wanted to prove you guys wrong out there. So I have um, a wonderful customer from VMware and also from Lionsbridge. I'm going to let them introduce themselves and talk about real world them using Translate to make their business happen. All right. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, my name is Eduardo D'Antonio, Director of Globalization for VMware. And as you can imagine, VMware is a global company. It's a huge demand for content in 20 plus language, about 20 million words that we translate in various languages. Very million. Yes, That's very huge. manual process. Requires thousands of translators and a lot of manual coordination. And it's very costly. It takes a long time. And we want to speed up the process. We want to increase the quality. And we were invited to do a pilot with using Amazon Translate and our partner, Lion Bridge. We're very excited with the results. Uh, two thumbs up. Uh, we look, we, we're looking for speed, quality, consistency, and cost reductions. And we got all of that in one pass. So it's, it's a, it, we can't wait to get our hands on the tool and, and start playing more with it. Nice. Okay, so I get a lot of questions on here, and I'm still going to get some about Skynet. You talked about you brought in your partner, Lionsbridge. Okay, so tell us who you are first. Let's do that. And just tell us what Lionsbridge is and how you partnered with VMware to get this done. Steve, no Skynet. Sure. So I'm, my name's Ken Watson. I'm the, uh, the CTO for Lionbridge, and we're kind of a, we're a market leader in localization and translation. We help our customers all over the world create a, a seamless cultural experiences with their uh, with their target audiences. And, and how so, do you guys do that? So part of that is we have a, a community of over 100,000 professional translators, and we connect them through our systems to our clients like uh, like VMware uh, to ensure that we can give them that high quality human translation. And so it makes a lot of sense. If you've got a lot, if you've got a lot of translation to do, we'll take uh, machine translation, like the, the, the fantastic work that the team here is doing with neural machine translation, and you'll pump it through there. But if you need that high quality human translation, what we do is we have this step where we take the MT engine, and then we add a post-edit phase. And this post-edit is what our human translators are doing. And they're ensuring that the, the, the final content has the right tone and has the right emotion that is required for the target audience. Nice, excellent. So you're actually making, taking the machine translated version right. and it actually simplifies your, your life, does that first cut. Absolutely. And then the human goes, okay, this is not quite right, I can tweak it, but it got you half the way there. And it kind of supercharges the translator, so nice. they're delivering the cost and the efficiency that uh, Eduardo and VMware and all our customers are looking for in terms of, uh, of that final translated quality. So machine and human work together nicely. That's right, it's kind of like the last line of defense against the, uh, the singularity. Exactly, right? <laughs> we're fighting against the singularity. There is no Skynet. Thank you guys so, so much for joining. We're going to keep the ball rolling. Please go out and try Translate and win GA today. Uh, we have the preview blog that I wrote during Readmit, and we have the new blog about GA that Randall wrote. Check out those blogs. Check out the Getting Started. We'll be back on Twitch. Thanks for joining us.